Okay, very interesting. Um, okay, so my uh, member and the community are interested in, they want to invest in coin that will do either 5x or 10x either this year. If a 5x, they want to um, find a coin that do like 5x by the end of April. If I give you some names, um, can you ask your spear guy? Yeah. About it? Okay, the first one is Rose. Oasis Rose. Right. Now I've got my sort of ups and downs up with Rose. There's something there that I like about it. I think they will go through that period where they will do quite well. I think they'll do particularly well in March. And I think April time could very surprise them. I'm not so sure whether they're going to reach and go right up there and be in the 10 straight away. Uh, but I do believe that they will do quite well during that time. I think that's going to be where the anticipation is going to wait till nearly the end of the year. Then all of a sudden it's going to really hit those targets. But there is something there that is saying to me, don't, dev don't give up on it. Don't throw this one away. This one has got a surprise coming and it could just happen, what I say, that completely out of the blue. So expect things here to happen completely out of the blue. And it could be on a low period for quite some time. And then all of a sudden it just reaches out uh, as an unexpected surprise. So that one, I will just say, I'm seriously going to keep my eye on because there's something very special about it. I think it will actually have quite a good month in February. So I think there's some growth here in February that could surprise people even with that little bit. Uh, but we've got a couple of good things to come, but you may have to wait a little bit longer. I would say more towards the April time than the March time that this one will do particularly well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how about Hacken? H-A-C-K-E-N is a security coin. Right, I would say that was almost the quietest one that you've actually given me. It, it's the one that I would sort of be least my energy is least attracted to the energy and that of that i think you've got a couple of good months and that with it a month that i don't think anything is going to do particularly brilliantly which is may and i think that one's going to do a bit better during may so it's not a lost cause but it isn't one that um, that's going to make me excited very much during the year but it is one that's saying keep your eye on but not have it too high expectations and that of it. So I think this whole year, and that's just gonna have it as one that's just there. You'll just say, well, I've got this one. And then you just keep looking at randomly and saying, well, I've got no revved up excitement and that with it. So that I would just keep my eye on very slightly. Okay, cool. Um, the next one is Taylor Luna. What do you think? Oh, I like I, well, straight as soon as you said it, I didn't, didn't even wait. My body started lifting itself up. So, uh, yes, I do like that. I think this month, a little bit slow, but then not everything is awake this month. I think uh, the next three months after that, I think you're going to do particularly well with it. So I'm liking it there all over. And in a month where a few days in July and August time can be quite difficult, I think particularly that's going to go through uh, that I'm already wanting to lift my hand saying, got it, got it. And I'm really pleased that I've got it during that time. So I think when we have that mid year, sort of little bit of quietness coming in, I think that's going to particularly start really sort of stretching itself and saying that I'm awake here and I'm now ready. So yeah. So that, that I do like the energy eventually, so, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, then how about Theta and t -Fuel? Theta and t -Fuel, do you see that they'll do well this year? Yes, yes. Aveda in particular, I do see that doing very well. And it's funny, is there, I don't know why I keep saying it, you know, I said I get these sort of random thoughts inside of my head. You haven't got one here called Timber or something to do with Timber or Timble, Timber? Um, uh, that, that's sorry, that's a little bit of homework then for you. I know you're very good at the homework, but there's something here to do with Timber or things here falling, Timber. Uh, and I've got 
and they just keep giving me this image and they're going timber like I've got to get out the way because something's about to fall and so I'm making sure that's just not the currency or the coin that you've been talking about so maybe there's a little fall here that's saying timber just telling me and letting me know so what's the next point a coin that you're about to talk about because I um, just want to make sure it doesn't resonate with that one beginning to drop that back uh we're talking about theta is so oh. theta your data right now is about the last time I checked uh, about three hours to ninety something. And and how is it done during January time? Um, not too hard, not too well. I went down with everyone else. Right. Well, okay. So just the same as everybody else then, because I'm still getting timber. So still with that. So I feel there's a bit more of a drop still to come with them. Right. So. I'm still getting that timber uh, noise and timber saying timber, and that's always something that's going to fall, that's going to fall. So I think we've got a very slight little bit of a fall coming in. I don't think it's for very long, so it might just struggle over the next week and probably go back a little bit before it then starts picking up. Uh, so I'm just associating it now with what the energy you're about to say. So I think uh, they may have another rocky, probably, uh, seven, eight, I've got eight. So probably the next eight days. So they probably got a little bit more of a tired time where there's that little bit of slow energy around them. So about eight days, I think not after the eighth, I still think they got about eight days and that. So I would say by the ninth um, of the of February, they could start picking up and that. And then we got the restructuring again. So we got building it up. So we got starting again, a fresh start, new opportunities and that that come in. So I think they could have some changes coming in that could start uh, impressing people and this will then take them off. So good. Mm -hmm. um, so data actually, they uh, very ambitious uh, team. They're working on all sorts of different projects. Right now, what they are working on is the metaverse. I mean, they have a bunch of different other projects going on at the same time, but the latest one is Metaverse. Do you see that the Metaverse will be um... the star of their show? So for me, uh, the star of their show. So one of the best uh, formats, best changes, best ideas, best things that they're going to have for a while. So even though there's a lot of ideas and a lot of, like I said, merging heads and people coming in with great ideas and working things together, I think this is going to be the best project or the best kickstart that they actually have. And even though they'll have some more stuff coming out later, I don't think it's going to have the same impact that the stuff is about to come out now, what they're about to do now. So I think they've actually got their real, I'm sorry if they're listening or if they get to hear this. I don't mean to be rude about them. I just think their best heads are now coming together. And so the best ideas are the ideas that they kickstart off with now. So I think February for them, particularly with ideas and ideas that are gonna work for them and pay off in the future is what they come out with during the month of February. So the month of February is a star turning point for them and it is a changing point for the currency. So, yeah. Uh -huh. So can the metaverse com compete with uh, Decentraland or Sandbox or some other more established uh, metaverse projects? Uh, I think they'll struggle to be up there with Sandbox because I still think Sandbox has got a couple of years here where they're still gonna be running pretty high. But I think they'll be up there with Digibyte uh, and some of those coins and that, which are what I say, coming back to life. They're beginning to come back all over again. Uh, and so I think they will be up there with that. I would say if I had to put them in a top 10 at the moment, I'd put them into 10. But I think their potential at this moment, they could even go up as high as eight. And maybe you don't think that's very high, but for them at this moment in time, I think their ideas and when they put things together and really get things going, I still think they've got a long way to go to be really up there, to be sort of up there where people are talking about them as being really sound and safe and around for a very long time. Uh, but they are going to be certainly talked about this year, which is good. And I think anything here to do with 
uh, gaming uh, people that want to revamp their companies and want to do something different. They're the ones that are in the changing process. They're going to do particularly well because people like anybody that comes in and cleans their house and gets it all resorted and re-energized. I think it's the energizing that people want something fresh, something different. And that's what we're looking for now. Mm -hmm. so Sorry, I'm blabbering on again. No, 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 that's good information for data investor because data um, has a huge community and the more information for for them, the better they will love it. So T, if people is under a budget, should they get T fee or data? Uh, data. Data? Data. Yeah. So, so you think that T fee will not give them um, a big of investment of uh, profits this year versus data? Uh, I think data will end up being the one with the bigger profit, uh, but I just think it's just because the amount of activity that actually comes in. I don't think there's going to be a lot in them. Uh, I don't think the difference is going to be massive. Like I said, it's just going to be like what I call barely talking about rather than saying there's a massive, huge difference. The trouble is, is most of the cryptocurrencies are pretty much on the same level apart from the top two. And the top two are like in a completely different planet and a different world. And now eventually they're all going to be on the same playing field. So it is going to be down to technology uh, the way that they sell themselves about their image. It's all about creativity this year. People want to see something spectacular and see something different. So, which is quite exciting for everybody that's into the cryptocurrency. They want to see value and anybody that changes and think will bring in value. So, which is good. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a coin called B Pro, B E P R O like be professional, be pro. Um, what do you think about that coin? Okay, I could barely write that then. And it was not just because um, my pad is quite a high pad tonight that I scrub with it, but I could barely write it there. Uh, so this shows me, um, <laughs> please don't, don't shoot the messenger. I am only the messenger and that. And you know, with that old saying where it says too many chiefs and not enough Indians, I think they need to make sure that the work is set out there and there's not too many sort of ideas being pulled in different directions. So as I've been saying, it's great to have loads of ideas, but you've got to have a plan about how to be able to get things out there and get things out there well. But it is a company that I don't see as being struggling. And even though they might think they're struggling at this moment, and like I said, I think it's so they've got so many ideas and so many things. How can you put all of these into action or when you need to? So focus on the main projects and actually put all your energy into that. And that's what's going to keep this company going on. There can be some fallouts and some heartaches and that in a month of April when everybody else is doing exciting. So if they're watching the markets and watching everything else, they could get a bit frustrated and a little bit disappointed during that time. So they've got to concentrate on their own house and their own projects and their own things here, not thinking and saying we should have got on with that or we should have done this. So it's about in-house and concentrating on their own stuff. And that's where they'll keep going and they'll charge themselves up, which is exciting for them. I think the 7th to the 14th could be the worst time during April and that for them in a month that brings in success and glory for everybody when they're all following one leader or all following one person. So that's what they need to do right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, I can see that in the chart. They have a lot. Um of volatility. So then if someone you don't have a budget for to buy two coins that I'm about to mention, um, I want to know which one the investor should pick. Phantom or Matic? Right. Which one which one will give them a better return by April? Phantom or Matic? Matic. They're both going to make profit, but Matic's going to have a, a, a corkingly exciting year this year and will do particularly well. So I would go with Maddox. That's the one that I see uh, that will be very exciting, especially if they're looking to turn around or to get some profit really quickly, then I would see Maddox as being the one. 
uh, but they're both are in profit. They both will. Neither of these two seem to be going anywhere apart from going up. So they they intend being around for quite some time. So there's they're bringing in or trying to bring in a lot of stability and security, which is an exciting thing. So both of them will do well. But Maddox will, in particularly, this is a good year for Maddox. And actually going into next year, Maddox's going to do particularly well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Matic is helping um, Ethereum with the uh, scaling in uh, transaction fee issues. So they have been doing well this last year. So I expect them to do well this year as well. I uh, expect them to do much better than they did last year, this year, and even better again during next year. I don't think they've got a sort of a real dull, quiet area, not anything. So even in January, there would have been very slight movement, but there would still be movement for them. Whereas a lot of uh, coins didn't do anything whatsoever. It was hardly worth having uh, much during January, but they will, they will in particularly do very well. And it's funny enough, all of a sudden, quite randomly, right in the middle of that, I've got Rose back, um, come back in. Uh -huh. So the Rose, the Rose energy is changing itself. So remember what I said about it being surprising yeah. and doing things not when you least expect it. So yeah. when everybody's looking at something else, then all of a sudden Rose is going to go and shoot back out and everybody's going to be saying, oh, I had that. I wish I kept it. And so it is going to be what I call one of those surprising ones that really surprised. And like I said, we were, I wasn't even concentrating, thinking about it. It was the last thing on my mind. I was just trying to listen clearly to what's been given to me. And then all of a sudden it's like, poof. <laughs> so, and Rose popped back in. So that's what Rose is going to do this year. It's going to pop back in when you least expect it. Yes. So sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Last year, I think uh, out of nowhere, they um, their price uh, shot up to a lot. I think it was under the radar last year, like five cents, and then uh, and then about well, six or eight months later, it went to thirty six cents. So caught me off guard. Well, I think apart from Bitcoin, I think everybody is going to hit their highest target this year. Um, uh, but I think I don't believe that Bitcoin will, but I think that everybody, everybody else will do that and everybody will go through one period or one moment or one month in this year that they go, well, that's broken my records of what we've done and what we've previously done. And so it is going to be one of those years where of records that are going to be seriously broken and there are going to be some coins that really jump out there that will be seriously good solana will be one of them sheba will be another one avid will be another one and they'll all just all of a sudden go from being normal to really big polka dot in particular they're going to do extremely well and maya is going to come from basically what i call nowhere to all of a sudden being right out there uh, and it is going to be uh, an exciting year for big boost in security for the future for a lot of people that are just learning about it and just getting into it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it's a lot of good coin this year that um, people have trouble um, trying to decide which one they should put the money on because, you know, they have limited budgets. So um, there's one coin that um, sort of um, came back to life, Veritasium, V-E-R-I. Oh, right. So yeah. for this year or from now to April, uh, whatever you want to provide, what do you see for um, Veritasium? Uh, well, I, I see them as being uh, quite sluggish now but I do see that during this springtime that they spring into life and it will be good it will be one that um, I'm very happy about it very happy about it all this year and I don't believe that anybody's going to say that they've had a bad time with this I, I think March will be probably the cream of their month it will be very exciting and that for them 
Um, I do think that this is where, and I keep well, I'm wanting to be quite rude tonight, saying where common sense seemed to be hitting the company. So I think the common sense, whatever the plans, whatever it is they're doing, they're really focused. So I believe that March is going to be an exciting month from that for them. Uh, but I think the whole year basically is going to be quite good. I think possibly their second uh, best month that they're going to have will be June time. And June time, I think, is going to really suit the vibrations of the company. Uh, but they can bring in some new changes around the June time. And I think particularly those the whole four weeks and that of June will be quite exciting for the company. I think people will make some really good investments and people will find it very difficult to end up buying this coin in the future. So I think it's going to be one of those must have ones. And not every coin is like that, but they are must have. Yes. So right now, Veritasium is uh, trading at $96 roughly. Do you see it go down a little bit more and then um, it'll go up or it go up from now on? Um, I think it's going to go down very slightly. Uh, I, I'm only looking at days. Um, I'm not looking at even at the next uh, week. Uh, I, so I will be looking at round the fifth. So I think the fifth seems to be the changing time for them. And then they start really developing and start growing. And I think it will be far more exciting after the fifth. I think until the fifth, I think you're just going to have to have patience and just wait for it. And then uh, I'm expecting to see a lot more activity in that with it. So I think people will realize that it's something that they want to have in their portfolio. It could even surprise me, and I'm, I'm telling Spirit not to be so wicked in that to me. They said it could even improve as soon as the third. And I say, have you said to me and showed me the fifth? And they said something here about being the number five, so five figures. Uh, so how much did you say it's trading for now? $96. 96 Okay, so... Uh, so I'm just, I'm just checking a moment, just making sure it's not going to go down to 95 before it goes back up or before it starts going back up. And so I think if anything is going to drop very slightly, it will drop up until the fifth. And then after the fifth, I think you're absolutely fine. It'd be back up and whatever it is now, it'd be higher than that. It'd be much higher than that now. And I do see um, a nice end of the month from that in February for it. So um, I think don't be disappointed if it does very slightly drop uh, because it's not on that, that charge, but after the fifth, it will be ready and it'd be ready to start charging. So uh, that would be, I think it's basically almost, not quite, but almost at its lowest now. And so I think that little bit of a drop, like I said, like the five just popped in. So whether it means it's going to drop down to 95 bit, and then it's going to start climbing. But if so, we're only looking at a day, maybe two days, that it will be that low and then it will start shooting back up. So very short time. Mm -hmm. So, Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, very casey. And the reason that people will have a hard time buying them because they have very limited Supplies on the market right now, I think uh, roughly about two, let me see, uh, 2.1 million uh, total supplies available. So they don't have a lot right now. Um, but it might change now because people might now over the next couple of days really start thinking, right, okay, well, let's jump on it now. Let's have this one. Let's keep it there. Maybe I can earn a quick profit. They will get a quick profit on it particularly, like I said, after the fifth, uh, then all of a sudden it starts making a bit of money. And I think that's going to create an exciting bit of an excitement. And I think we all need some excitement in our life. And maybe this is what's going to cheer us all up. We go, right, okay, we've made this now. And now we've made this little bit extra. So, uh, which is going to be exciting. So this is an exciting period now. We're beginning it. We're getting ready for the next couple of months, which we will be all smiling and laughing and pleased with the knowledge that we've learned and what we're working with. Um, so between Veritasium and Persistence, um, if people have to pick between the two, which one should they buy? Okay, say them again. Veritasium and Persistence. 
go like that. I verit veritism. I think I'm going to go with that one. The yeah. trouble is, is that, again, I like both energies, but yes, but I'm I'm going to go with that. So that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, um, for me, where do I feel that that's going to be? And that, so I've, I've just quickly got in doubles. So what's it selling for now? Persistent is uh, one second. Like three, three thirty nine, three dollar and thirty nine cents. Okay, ninety nine cents. Okay. Oh, three, no, 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 three dollar and thirty nine cents. Right. Okay, thirty nine. Okay, right. That's fine. And what was the other one? Ninety six dollars. Ninety six. Okay, ninety six. Right. Okay. Um, well, I wanted and started trying to write one hundred and five. So I think that's going to go up to 105 and I think that's going to be quite quickly. I think this could be even a, a wonderful Valentine's gift of where it even grows, it goes up to 105 by the 14th of February because I just got here a Valentine's gift. And I'll tell you what, that flipping rose is driving me crazy because it just came <laughs> in Valentine's and then Rose just popped back in and <laughs> they've got to stop this. <laughs> They're mucking my head up. But I've got 105. So I think it would go from 96 to 105. So I've got a nice little jump in that coming. And that, and then, it, like I said, I just saw Valentine's Day and then saw Rose again. So maybe that's going to be a hotter time than I first was given credit to it for. It's yeah. obviously not going to leave me alone. It's obviously very offended at what I said or the way that I said it. So it's making me work hard to earn that goodness back so to reassure people that rose is obviously going to be something that is going to keep popping up and so <laughs> good luck <laughs> um so there's a, a few of uh og coin this coin has been like around since 2017 18 and have been sleeping barely do anything the first coin is digibyte digibyte um is two cents is i think right now it's trading at two cents last year i went up to like 18 cents and it dropped down to mm, two cents now so do you see that digibyte will actually um rise this year to and exceed the all-time high price right i think it's got i think it is it's his second life and i do believe that it's going to come back and it will come back quite big um, I think it's going to struggle pretty much to get up to its record breaking, but I've just been informed and just been told it still is a record breaking coin. So I do believe that it is going to come back. I think it's going to hover around about the 10 uh, dollars for quite some time. I think it's going to be on that and people are going to think, oh, it's going to be stuck. It's going to be stuck. But remember what I said to everybody, this is going to test your nerves on what to hang on to and what you know and what to get rid of uh, because people like to have all the activity of the changing and that that's going on so for me i think that one yes is going to do it and i do believe that that is going to be in the top four or five anyway of the best coins that would have done particularly well during this year and so this new lease of life and remember any company that revamps itself and come back is going to come back with such surprising impact and that is really going to make a difference so all you companies that have been the same or doing the same for a long time you might think yep that's worked and it's worked really well so we're not going to change a work in progress but this is a time of change this is a time of adding something different showing a different spin to yourself and those are the companies that are particularly throwing themselves into uh, change a work in progress. And they're the ones that particularly are going to do spectacular this year. And I believe this to be a spectacular year. Uh, it's going to be a year that we won't forget with the coins that disappear and the coins that come back in and the new coins that we're all talking about. It's almost like we're frightened to talk about coins being up there in the top two. We're we are so used to it being the same ones all the time. It's sort of making us feel that those are the ones we should be talking about when actually now this is the perfect opportunity for a whole fresh new start. So for everybody, think of that as a fresh new start. 
dabble in things that you're not used to doing, have that new beginning, trust your gut intuition. Your gut intuition will always tell you when something is right. If you get a nice little shiver of that feeling inside of you that this feels good, then that is saying that's your energy. It's working well with you. And anything that makes you feel good will work and bring you a really decent income. And this is a year of property. This is a year of land. This is about assets. And you all want assets. You all want more things to, in your portfolio. So this is the year that's giving you the potential to say, by trusting your intuition, it's going to lead you down that pathway. So that's what you've got to remember. Asset. Yeah, I agree that long-term uh, asset and DJI will do really well. But DJI yes. right now is two cents. So, uh, so by the end of the year or throughout this year, um, what price do you get for DJI? Right now it's two uh, cents. Right. Well, I believe that will go up to, uh, like I said, I think it will stay at 10 uh, I get going into dollars now. I'm not going into cents and that. So I believe that it will go up and then it will stay around the 10 uh, for a little while and then it will start making some. Will it go back up to the 18th? Yes, it will. It will touch it, it will go over by a fraction, a few cents over the top of it. Yes, it will, because it doesn't want to be proven to be the only one that doesn't break its own record. So yes, I believe that it will. It's coming back. Uh, with a massive impact and it will be an exciting coin to be investing in in the future so i do believe it will be around for at least the next five years so i don't see it disappearing very quickly or being stuck at the same non-movement but remember that is just january was always about that it was getting companies and cryptocurrency into a new vein, uh, putting it into an area where it's about um, moving forward and having that excitement. Um, I want to make a uh, quick correction. So DigiBuy, the all-time high price is 18 cents, 18 cents. Okay, yeah. So you think that DigiBuy will go to $10 this year or, or in the future? I think this year, I think it'll go there this year. And like I said, it's going to go way above what it's ever done in the past or what I call its previous life, because this is the opportunity for it to be reborn and starting all over again. So I do believe that this year is going to show that. And I think next year will be one of its better years. And I do believe that it will show a lot of strength and a lot of gutsiness in the company. And I think... Uh, the way that they work with the company and the fresh energy. It's like a good working energy. Everything seems to be flowing. So it will flow and they will get the rewards for the hard work that they've actually put into it. Uh, so for me, this is a win-win situation um, that I would like myself. So I think that's definitely a win-win situation. Um, yeah, that's a big jump from two cents to 10 dollars. Right, yes, yeah. But this is, like I said, this is one of those extraordinary years uh, where I'm expecting most coins to jump in that sort of degree. And some will even be even higher that would, they will really jump hugely high. Um, and it's not going to take everybody off guard. And I see quite a lot of them being up around the $50 mark. And I know people think, oh, well, that's absolutely ridiculous. They've gone from cents to now being in dollars. But I think when the new cryptocurrencies and that all come in, I think people will then be fighting to see which ones that they believe will be great investments. And we've got some stunning ones around at this moment. And like I said, those that are improving, those that are opening the door for new people and making their technology simple. And those that got fun with it and extra things that people can invest in and buy in, those are the companies that particularly are going to do well. And, and I mean, when I'm talking well, I mean really well, really up there in the big money. And I don't ever see after this year again that there only be two coins that are sort of up in the really big money like Bitcoin has been. Um, I see lots of coins being up there and being able to reach really high targets and that. And, and so you've got that in the future. And that's why it's the way to go. Cryptocurrency will be the way to go in the future. 
because it's going to be so easily spendable everywhere and anything and every government is going to invest in it and so from government saying we don't want this to work uh, once we've got rid of the fiat currency which that will be gone by the end of March and so your stocks and shares and that people will be saying no I want a better market they'll be all coming straight over to the cryptocurrency they will be investing more they'll be looking to see who's doing well they'll be watching and listening and reading all about scandals and things and upsets in companies and that but then that's just what the guys have been doing here to try to make crypto not seem so exciting but crypto is the future. And so whether we like it or not, whether you know half the population is like me, I haven't got a clue and doesn't know how to do it whatsoever, but I'm just not a techno person. But you've got to think all the youngsters will, they'll be looking for their pensions and things in the future. It will become something that is all natural. Kids that are born will be able to invest in cryptocurrency and love it. It will be all their thing. And so this is, not so much a new market because it's been around for quite some time, but it's been a market that people have been very intimidated by because they feel they don't know enough about it. And this year is going to be explaining to people, teaching people and showing it. And I'm expecting all the groups and the groups like you to go through the roof because everybody wants to know something and they will need somewhere to put their money because they won't trust normal banking systems. And so this is your duty, your job now to encourage people and to show them that this type of thing is easy for everybody and everybody can make, no matter who you are, can make some money from this and they can, which they can't in the banks. And so that's what they'll be looking for, interest and value for their hard work and seeing their finances grow. And the crypto world is about to show them, not only can we grow, we can show you what profits are really about and you can all have a share in this profit. So I'm finding this not only an exciting year, but an absolutely thrilling year for everybody who wants to get involved. And a lot of people will be. And I believe that millions of people are ready to jump on the bandwagon and want to get into this. So it is important that everybody goes through and looks at this in a lot of detail. That's what people need to do. You have to do your homework. You have to get that connection with it yourself. And if you don't do your homework, then it's no different than it being in the bank, which is a total waste of time. So you have to do your homework. You have to look into it. I'm just lazy. I just ask spirit. I just ask my intuition and ask them, what do you want me to say about this one? And I just repeat what is said to me. So I'm avoiding all responsibility and blame because I'm just saying, right, it's down to you to get this right for these people because this is their livelihoods. And that's what you've got to remember. You're playing with people's futures. So even though I'm not a financial advisor, um, I get really good feelings and good impressions about coins that suit you or that work well with you, that are going to do well with you. But lift your expectations, dream big, think big and be prepared for some big surprises to come with crypto. This is your year, remember this. So when this is your year, you have to make the best of every opportunity. So do your homework, find out who you like and who's explaining things in a simple, easy way, and then get on board with it and then invest whatever uh, money and security that you have. But you always have to know there's a risk with everything. So always know at the end of it that you can't put your life savings into everything. You have to know that there's going to be ups and downs and things change like March. One thing about March, everything changes from every single day. There's not going to be two days alike, um, you know, during the March period. It's one of those exciting months where everything is thrown at us. So we'll have the biggest highs and the biggest lows all during March and that. But there are all things that we'll recover from because by the end of March, we'll still be laughing as that old saying, I'm full of sayings today. Uh, they're saying, you know, we're saying we're laughing all the way to the bank. Well, that's what a lot of you guys will be doing during March. You'll be so proud of yourself and of your investments and what you've done. So well done you. So good luck to you all. So you don't need it. This is an amazing year. So good luck. Yeah, Susan. So, um, there's a coin that um, you talk about that you know, anyone who do partnership will do well. So there's a coin called crypto.com. Um, they just signed a five-year contract with um, 
a, bas a basketball player, um, King James. Do you see that it will do well? Okay, well, straight away, the energy that they're putting into it is actually quite a nice energy. Um, I think we're going to have to wait until the summertime before it, it starts picking up. I think it's another one of those months when we're building things. I think it's going to take itself a little bit longer to really get people involved in it. So maybe uh, it's to do with the advertising. Maybe it's to do with the images. Maybe it's just to do with it that is not catchy enough for people. Uh, and so there needs to be something else needed to be added to it to make it people want to sort of be pulled in to find out more uh, with it. But I think uh, if we hang on and wait till the June period, I think they're going to be another one of those rare coins that seem to do particularly well during a building time. They might change quite a few things about the way that they're doing things in around the June time. And so it's almost like a second win for them, second breath. So I think round about the June time, I think quite surprisingly, they could do particularly well, better than they've done from now up until June. So I think that is going to be just a slow one uh, that we end up saying, well, thank goodness for that. You're now joining the party with everybody else. But they seem to be a little bit late at this moment in time uh, in catching up with the big money or increasing their self to get the big money. Uh, but I do think that they will be around for the five-year period, um, and, you know, but there's something here that's telling me about two and a half years and that, so I've got another shake-up, a shake-up in that time, so I think for them in particular, 23, 24, I would say 24, they might find that's a much tougher year, uh, so you might have to watch and see what's going on in the company the end of 23, um, if you're investing in it and then just say, well, you know, do I like what they're talking about? Do I like where they're heading and that? But like I said, I do see them around for the five year period. So even though they're talking that way, I like the way they're talking about their confidence of talking in five years time rather than thinking, well, what's going to happen to us this year or next year? Have they got here? a target and I like companies that, that got targets that say I intend to be doing this and this is what we intend doing so for me I think yes I don't think it's a jackpot one but I do think it is something that they would live up to their own expectations but like I said they will have to be careful of that going into 2024 they will have to be careful then. I think people will expect mega things from them during that time. And if they can't deliver, they might end up having the sort of very bumper end of 23 going into 24 and starting it off where actually they still should be riding really high. And I think they've got that little bit of slow period during that time. So that I would just be wary of. I would keep watching, seeing what the market's doing with them and see what they're doing themselves. Uh, excellent. That's a surprise because they have been spending a lot of money on advertisements. They are everywhere, but that's okay. So my um, member just remind me to ask you this questions. Um, so there's a lot of people from Australia investing in crypto and um, they want to know, is there any uh, natural disasters that they need to concern about um, like from now into May or from now into September of this right. year? I think May, there's, there's going to be quite a lot. I think um, everything, I think the whole world is going to be shaken up during the month of May. I think we've got a lot of natural disasters, a lot of natural things that are going to be happening during that time. It's going to affect every single person, no matter what country that you're in, you're going to have this. Uh, the good thing is that we will have the abundance and the security that's been given to us all. So as what I call our Jazara moments in Nazara, uh, they're going to be happening to us and we'll have that by the end of April. So we'll have that more security in our life. So we've got the good stuff. Then as soon as we get there and we get the ultimate excitement, then we've got to be delivering because the whole world itself has got to change itself. Look what's been going on with the meats and everybody in that's going to be turning vegetarian and stuff like that. That's all being talked about. So you've got loads of different things here that we have to start recovering and start building things up. 
And so this is where then the cryptocurrency will start enjoying a new lease of life. And then going into the month of June, that's where, again, we're going to have a lot of people that are going to be talking about cryptocurrencies and talking about what we can do with our investments when we get our homes and that. But during the summertime, it's going to be much more about feeding the world and growing the world and changing it to a better place to live. And we'll be uh, being spiritually reborn. So everybody will be using their intuition and their spirituality and connecting and saying, I like this going, I want to live in this area. It's going to be a big move time. So people are going to be moving between now and the month of June. But I would be very wary about moving in the month of May uh, because May, you have to wait to see what the natural disasters and natural things that are going to happen during that time. So not so much about financial disasters. I think that's going to happen much more to do with the American market, with the dollar and that, that would go crashing down in March time. I don't believe it's going to survive no matter how much they try to make it all look good. And the stock exchange, the, you know, the markets and that are going to be going absolutely crazy during that time. So I would have my investments or be looking at my investments to look at how I can get my resources and how I can invest it in something that I can keep my eye on and get whenever I want to, which is a cryptocurrency they'll be able to. That's why I said easy access is the answer to everybody's prayers this year with their finances. So I hope that's answered their question. No, they actually the concern about earthquake or tsunami um, this year in Australia, Australia from now into May or September. Yeah, but everybody's going through. Every country is going to have some really bad storms and that bad stuff that's going to happen. I think the tsunamis and that, because uh, one of my um, whole year predictions and that for this year is the barrier reef around Australia, um, all the way around that will be all cracking up and that there's going to be lots of crazy things and that that go on with that. But I think a lot more things are going to be affected, which is much more to do with the water systems. And so I do see a lot of pipe bursting and grounds opening up and shaking up. We got a lot of disasters and a lot of things that are going to happen in America and that that's going to happen, that they will end up with tsunamis and that as well. So there's every different country is going to have some kind of disaster. This is the worst winds, the worst rains, the worst snows, the worst dramas, all things. Remember what we said about cryptocurrency, it's record breaking year, but it's also like that with the weather and things that are going on. So I don't want people to think that this year is just about miserable things because it's not, it's the balance of it. We got a lot of miserable things, but then we have to clean up the world. And when we clean up the world, we end up then with the great stuff to come in. So we'll have the peace, the harmony, the spirituality, the joy of wanting to help people, getting together. Communities will start up, which will be really brilliant. People will be wanting to invest in other people. There'll be lots of spiritual projects and things that we all work together to get going. The filming and the TV industry, thank goodness for that, all communications that are going to be good. And that's why I said there's going to be a lot of trouble in that with the blackouts and that during the month of February. Uh, and that's just because we're not going to be able to get hold of technology or technology is going to be taken down. So we think we're censored now. Then we've got a lot more censorship coming in now. So it's going to get a lot tighter and a lot harder to say things. And while we're talking about that, I want to congratulate Canada on all their truckers and all the people that came out and started changing things. That's bringing communities, bringing things together. So we just got to get all the other countries to be able to do it. So come on, Australia, let's get you back to normal. Let's bring your energies back. Let's start all living and start breathing again. Let's be part of other people's lives. And if we can do that, this is going to be an extraordinary year with so much abundance, happiness and spirituality. And our new pathways are going to be so certain. This is the greatest love year, remember. So we've got to love what we're doing. We've got to love the people that we're around. And we've got to have the greatest relationships. This is what we call our gift back to us. There's nothing more than a happy relationship and a good, healthy bank balance. Not so much bank being the word but cryptocurrency or our financial security so that we can do great things. Let's stop being enslaved to the world. Let's just be the world once more. 
So it's time to wake up. And I know all you guys are wide awake, but wake up and start living. This is, it should be a world of happiness. And Mother Nature is going to help us to create that and bring in that happiness. So it's time that we all look up, look around and embrace the world because it is our world. Remember that it's for our joy, it's for our happiness. And now I feel like I've been preaching to you all now. <laughs> So I hope they all haven't turned off and gone to somewhere else now. So sorry, but this is such an amazing, extraordinary year. And it is absolutely true. We should be so proud of ourselves that we chose to live at this moment in time with all this amazing technology and the way that we're going to be spending new currencies and involved in cryptocurrencies and that and our new spiritual pathways are all about now. So good luck to us all. Uh, yeah. Don't need it. <laughs> yeah, I can't we, wait to see um, more milestones uh, accomplished by different country and uh, us, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, exactly. It all is. And, and I know lots of people have said, thank goodness for that. The UK has woken up. They've only woken up a bit. But remember, with governments now, they like to give us a false sense of security and balances us. So they give us with one hand and then they take it back with the other hand. So they'll take back some of the freedom or they'll try to bring in other rules and regulations. But all we got to do is stick together. All we got to do is exactly what the lorry drivers were doing. No violence, nothing here, because this is a non-aggressive. And that's why I know for all you guys that live in Russia, you will be absolutely fine. There's not going to be any wars that are going on there. There's going to be propaganda. There's going to be absolute rubbish, but there's not. And across the world, we're in a karmic year. And this karmic energy is keeping the peace. It's keeping things here that we have to learn to love. This year is about love. It's not about violence. Last year was about stress and violence and anger and sort of breaking all rubbish up from the past. Now, this is a truth year. This is about happiness, security and great things to come. And this is what we're all looking for. We'll all find somebody special in our life and special for our journey. Somebody that makes us want to be a better person and share more. And for those of you that have been single, this is the well, the, one of the most amazing experiences that you will have this year. So that's what you've got to hang on to. Know that good things, whatever is your secret wish or desire, you will end up having and getting this year. It's a year that gives and keeps giving, but we just got to get through the rubbish, first of all, to get us back to normal. So just remember that. So sorry for going on on one. <laughs> I do apologize. It's okay. So last month you uh, mentioned something that um, make the community a little puzzle. So you said that Matic will go to forty thousand dollars. So Matic, okay. Matic right now is a dollar and sixty five cents. So do you see that Matic will go to forty thousand dollars this year or in the futures? Right. I think it will go there this year. Like I said, we've got a few big ones, and I believe it's going to go there this year. I think it's got to creep itself out. Like I said, March and April are extraordinary. And when there seems to be no holdbacks on money, then that's when it's going to climb up. There. And that's what I said. We've got to get this out of our heads, thinking that uh, that it's only a couple of coins that can go up there and make the big stuff. We've got to be able to think that anything is possible. And, and that's what we've just got to keep our energy focused on. Uh, we've got to focus on the goals that we want because if it keeps going up by cents and just the odd dollar every so often and you think how long it's going to take you to get property or to get possessions or to be able to add to your portfolio it's going to take a long time so it's got to start jumping in big leaps and bounds and that's exactly what it's going to do the market is going to totally change this year and like i said when the the fiat system really breaks itself down and falls to pieces and that then it is going to climb enormously and yes there are going to be quite a few rumors about different cryptocurrencies where companies are going to be trying to bring them down because they're going to see them so we have to work out what is the truth and what is just rumors and gossips so we got to look at the coins that we know because we've done our own investigation and we've looked at things. That's what we've got to be looking at and saying, well, is this somebody just trying to bring that company down because they see them as a threat? And like I said, Shiba and Solana and that are going to do a mega time amazingly well. 
And so you're going to be seeing them going up into the big bucks even before uh, the other ones start sort of growing. But it's almost like when it's let loose and it starts developing and it starts growing and people start expecting it, then all the other coins will start joining. And there is some serious money to be earned over the next two years. But this year in particular will be the wake up call for everybody. And then next year we will see heavy profits in our, in our banks and we'll never be as rich as uh, we're going to be as next year. And next year we will see all that richness. So good luck. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you for coming on today. It's, um... I hope that Lisa will come back next month and join us. Um, thanks you for your generous uh, time today and all the information. Um, we look forward to seeing you again in like a few weeks. I uh, yeah, I look forward to it. You take care and thank you once again. Happy New Year! And remember, even though I might have sounded doom and gloomy, it is really not a doom and gloomy year. There's a lot of major hurdles we have to get through, but when we stand up and get through those, we will come out the other side and we will be great. Trust your own gut intuition; it's not going to disappoint you. And spirit have no reason to lead you up the wrong pathway. They want you to do well. They want you to be happy. Just remember that. So good luck once again and happy new year to you all. Thank you. Thank you. I see you later.